Hi guys, this is Greg Cosma. I'm the uh, lead designer and UI artist on Karimba Yavna. And I'm just going to take you through a little UI spotlight of the game. So we can just start off with our stats UI, the, the overlaying top level UI. We've got a couple different elements on this. Uh, in the top left here, we've got uh, a calendar system, simple calendar system. Um, on the right, we keep, we're keeping track of all of our resources. In the bottom left, we have our avatar, our level, some experience, and some other options here. So when you open this up, you've got kind of some game options, as well as uh, some helpful tips that, uh, that your avatar might say. So there's also a fair amount of UI within the world. You can kind of see some of that here with the yellow and orange icons. Um, these icons represent fields that need to be maintained. So if I were to just hover over these and click down, I can, I've can i now queued all of these up for maintaining, um, which is going to cost me some energy. And I can execute all these maintains by clicking this button right here. Or I could cancel it by clicking the X. But let's go ahead and do it. So now that they're all growing, if I wanted to see how this is coming along, I could just click on that and now I can see that my wheat field is growing and how much time it has left on it. There's also a few other in-world elements like the spark converter which will convert one resource to another and as well as things like signpost will which will let you travel to different locations. Let's take a quick look at the home UI. We have a couple different options here. First, on the overview tab, you can see basically some basic information about our character and his level, his how much our uh, how much value the homestead has, things like that. You can change the name of your character and you can change the name of your farm here as well. Eventually, you'll be able to expand your family and uh, buy a bigger home to uh, accommodate for larger family members and, and some other upgrades here. Let's move on to the quest tab. You can see here that I've got plenty of unopened uh, new quests that I need to start and uh, this quest I've already started. Um, I can also see some of my locked quests which, uh, which I haven't gotten to yet as well as the quests I've completed. So when you click on a new quest, it'll start that quest, and I can once you're inside of quest, uh, you can see what rewards you'll get on the right. So if I complete the a new recipe, I'll uh, get access to melons, uh, access to the fruit bowl, and some energy as a reward. Um, each quest has a description and a couple objectives that you need to complete. Um, so. I've completed none of these and, and I have no progress towards completing these, but if I wanted to harvest a couple of these crops and then I head back in, you can see now we've made some progress. The kitchen UI is probably one of the better UIs in the game. You select a recipe from the recipes and once that happens, you have two different ingredients that you need to drag in to make your craftable. Once those are queued up, the kitchen gets nice and uh, kind of warm and energetic, and you need to drag your energy in to complete that recipe. Once you complete, you get like a nice experience burst, and the, the whole UI resets. You can see our energy in the top left here. That denotes how much energy we have, and then we can also decide to craft more if we wanted to make uh, two toss salads instead of one, say. You can also unlock new recipes, which I don't have enough shekels for right now. In the shed UI, you can see things that you own but don't have on your homestead right now. Right now, I have one wheat in my shed. When I click on it, I can see more information about it. See the icon and uh, various properties about, uh, about it. I could place it on the homestead or I could refund it to the store. Let's keep it for now. At the Donkey Pack UI, you can add owned items to the cell pack and it'll start to increase the amount of shekels you're going to receive from this trip. Once you're ready, you can 
hit this uh, hit the sell button and boom you get a bunch of shackles so now let's spend some of those shekels at the general store. There's a couple different categories, harvestables, decoratives, festival preparation, imported materials, and consumables. When you click on an item in the store, you can see some information about it. Different items might have different information, depending on what they are. Let's go ahead and purchase a melon field and drag it onto our farm. One of the core UIs in Karim Yavna is the Talmud Chacham, which is a type of quiz UI. So let's go ahead and just start a quiz. When we start it, the, the background goes dark to indicate that we can't leave. If, if we try, the, the rabbi actually says that we can't do it. So we have to answer this question. We can pick a couple different things here um, and switch our answer if we change our mind. Notice how we're running out of time, so the UI is starting to shake a little bit. I happen to know that a leap year is three, uh, 13, so let's answer that. We got a correct answer, which means our streak went up by one, uh, and this is our current spark reward. We could tap out at this point and get this reward, or we could risk it and continue going on. You can also tap out in the middle of a question, so there's really no reason to tap out right now. Uh, let's go to the next one. So I actually don't know this one, so I'm going to guess, and I didn't get it right. So when you get an answer wrong or complete the quiz entirely, you get shot back out to the tapped out area where you're not in the quiz. At this point, you can leave the UI. So that's about it. Thanks for watching. Uh, the UI Spotlight for Karim Yavna. Again, I'm Greg Cosma. I recommend checking out more of the gameplay features um, and just playing the game for yourself.